Okay, we got to the bottom of what happened last time. Basically had a bad cable. And um, now that we fixed it, I brought out another prop that I thought would be nice to model using virtual strings. Um, this prop has 11 pixels in the center that make up the center. It has 12 pixels that make up each of the stems. And then inside this globe, this Michael's uh, basically sanded down frosted ornament is three regular pixels. So the way it was wired is it comes into the center and then it goes around 10 pixels. So it's one for the center, around 10 pixels um, for the ring. And then it shoots off and it goes out 12 pixels that are strips. And then wired onto the end is three nodes. And they just so happen to all have three different kinds of channel orders, but they're all of the um, 18XX or the TM or the uh, 2811 style nodes. So to do that, I have it connected to port two and we want to model the center ring here because that's what's connected first. It comes into the center and then it does the other 10. So what we can do is we go to port two and I'm just going to start it off at one. So we're going to start off on channel one and the pixel count is 11 and that should take care of all the pixels in here um, and we hit save. So now that that's saved, if I go to channel one, you'll see I do turn on that pixel. And if we do a color order test, we go red, green, blue. I believe those are the right colors. Yep, red, green, blue. So it looks like that color order is, um, even though I'm getting the right colors, it's set for R, B, G. So that one's good. So then to do the 12 going out on the first spoke, we just add another virtual string. It automatically picks up where the last one left off. We put in 12 and we hit save. And if we go to 34, which is the first channel, we got red blue, green. So the red and the blues, or the green and the blues are reversed. So if we go here and switch that to RGB and hit save, that should take care of the order. And we got red, G, B. So then that's correct. Now the what's remaining is this little part out here which has three pixels in there. So we add another virtual string and we put in three and we'll go ahead and just put this at a RGB and we hit save and that starts out at pick number 70 channel 70 so if we go down to 70 and we go ahead and try that we got blue green red okay so if we have this set at RGB and we actually do the test the color order will be whatever the colors are whenever they light up. So if we just do it again, it's blue, green, red. But the key is to have this at RGB to begin with. So if we do blue, green, red, and we hit save, that should fix the color order. And sure enough, we got red, green, blue. So that one's modeled. So now we've modeled the round ring, 11 nodes, one of the stems, 12 nodes, and then three. But what I'd like to do is group that outside one to act as one node. So all you need to do is just switch this to three and then hit save. And now the whole thing is grouped together. So if we go to number 70, uh, you see it's brighter now because all three lights are turning on. Wow, the green's really bright. Okay, so then that's done. Now if we wanted to, now the now the wire comes back and it goes to the next spoke. I'm going to do one more spoke. So you just add another plus sign. Uh, we put it to 12 because that's the size of the spoke. We set the grouping to 1. And we look at this other spoke and it's RGB. So we just set that to RGB. Um, we could add another one. And this will be the next ball. And that's 3. 
and three because we want it to be grouped to three. And we look at that one and that one's set to BGR. So we go ahead and put that at BGR and we hit save. And if we do the test on the first stem, starting at 73, we see that lights the first pixel. And if we go to the last pixel, ends at 108, we go down to 108, we see that's the last color blue. And then if we look at the 109, should be the ball. And sure enough, it turns red, and then green, and then blue. And that kind of shows you how you use virtual strings. You would just continue on adding, you know, two more channels per stem and ball until you finish it. And then basically you, the whole thing would be mapped. Uh, you're utilizing the, the, the ability to um, uh, change the order for any number of pixels in that virtual string. And also the, the grouping, be able to group like we did the balls into different groups. Very nice for different types of elements where you have several lights that light up an area where you could do it in software, um, but just having a single channel done in hardware makes it a lot easier for the software. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.